Going back to court today, the man accused of murdering Chelsea Brock. Brock went missing back in 2014. Her body found months later. Local 4's Lauren Perdell joins us live. And Lauren, this was a cold case. And thanks to uh, some pretty modern technology, the police uh, say that they have their man. Modern technology, new evidence, and a new law that investigators are really saying played a key role in this case. When we're talking about Daniel Clay, the man accused of murdering Chelsea Brook back in 2014, this isn't his first time being arrested. We've learned from investigators that Clay was arrested this year, May of 2016, and that played a big role in arresting him in this cold case. The last time we saw 27-year-old Daniel Clay, he told a judge he didn't want bond and was sent straight to jail. Today, the man accused of murdering Chelsea Brooke will be back in court for a probable cause hearing. But investigators are now telling us a crime Clay was arrested for earlier this year helped link him to Brooke's 2014 murder. A law passed last year in Michigan allows police to take a DNA sample from people they arrest. Clay was arrested in May for stealing tattoo equipment. Invest Investigators then linked that DNA that was taken at the time to some that was found on Brooks Halloween costume. Prosecutors say without this law, Clay would still be walking the streets. It's an arrest that's become a sense of relief for the people who live in the community and knew the woman who was never seen again after that Halloween party. And not hear anything for two years and then all of a sudden to hear about it. I mean, it puts everybody in some relief to know that they caught the person. And I got a message from a friend of mine and he said, Ashley, do you realize that you could have been Chelsea Brooke, you could have been murdered. And I said, what do you mean? He said, that gentleman is your Facebook friend. And now what happened to Chelsea Brooke will play out in a courtroom. Clay has been charged with second degree murder. Investigators feel that this murder was not premeditated. His probable cause hearing takes place today at 2 p.m. Local 4 cameras will be there. Reporting live outside this morning, Lauren Podell, Local 4 News Today.